well I am not going to complain about it this morning since editing that video and seeing how happy I was at the end of the class so really cold now. <laughs> I wasn't cold when I was working out but I had a coffee with Roz and we sat outside for some reason and we were talking for ages. Yeah I did a good catch up but now I have got to get up to the flat in London to meet a decorator and I'm meeting him at two. Why did I say two? Because <laughs> I really need a hot bath because I'm so cold. off to church this morning and it's a beautiful day. Well, here is something that made my day. I was just checking my emails and one of my viewers has bought my CD. You can go and buy it from my website. I'll put a link below. So I've packaged it all up, signed it, so you get a signed personally copy, personally signed copy. And I'm going to put it in the post box now. The autumn colours are still as amazing as ever. It's Monday today. I know last week I said it's Monday and flashed up on the screen Sunday. <laughs> Nobody noticed. And I'm going to go and pick up my dad and I think Lou's going to come probably have coffee and kind of brunchy, lunchy stuff at Giro and then maybe a stroll round the lake at Claremont. Oh, Haven't you got some filters you can use? There's two Canadian geese there. Aren't you never sure? Louis gone off to meet up with Mike and get an update on what's happening with the bus. I've dropped my dad home and now it's time for me to go for my coaching session. So it'll be interesting to see what insights come from the session today. I'll update you later. Well that was a really good session and I feel like I need a cake now. <laughs> Maybe I didn't have enough lunch. I just had an almond croissant, that's not really a lunch is it? So yeah, I'm gonna go home and have a think through everything that we discussed. I've come up to the top room in our house because I could see that the light outside is really amazing. The house behind us is kind of blocking the sunset a bit, but there's still an amazing view.
Look what has just stopped outside our house. A lorry with a fire on it. You're getting a view of my filthy windows again. <laughs> And Ben has decided to go outside and investigate. We've just been watching the Big Bang Theory and now he's behaving like Sheldon. Guildford. I'm just going to pick up Darcy after her lecture and we're going back to the house because I've got somebody coming round to put a timer on the boiler and then I'm really going to try and make this the last day I'm doing jobs at the house. <laughs> I keep saying that. It's Wednesday morning. Yesterday would have been a really good day of activities to vlog but I just get so immersed in gardening and the home maintenance stuff down at Guildford that I completely forget I've got a camera in my bag. <laughs> Today, I am going to have a non-achievement orientated day. And first of all, I'm going to have coffee with my friend Nikki. I really forget to go and see friends and realizing more and more what an introvert I am. <laughs> But luckily I've got lots of really good friends that contact me and then I'm going out with my dad. an amazingly lovely time with my friend. It's one of those friends that you really feel like you're journeying with and that was really lovely. And then me and my dad went to shit and I didn't video any of it. <laughs> I think it was because it was a bit cold and just was enjoying the scenery. But I'll link you, I think it comes up that side, to a video where we went to shear a few weeks ago and that will remind you of what beautiful shear is like quintessential English village. Anyway, I got back and there've been a couple of deliveries and I got a delivery yesterday. So I've been getting on top of admin, ordering things that I meant to order years ago. And one of them I opened yesterday and I decided to vlog opening them because that haul, which I thought I executed really badly, seems to have been really popular. I don't really know why I'm surprised because I do like haul videos as well because it gives you a really good idea of things that you might need to buy before you buy them. A really quick journey. I think I left Cobham at about 20 past 8 and got here about 5 10 past 9 and that was ideal. So the reason I've decided to come up to the flat this Tuesday night is because no it's not Tuesday night. It's Wednesday night. <laughs> I'm losing track. Is I don't have any commitments tomorrow because Darcy isn't living at home anymore. I don't have to think about giving her lifts if she needs a lift or cooking her dinner, anything like that. Don't have to do any of that. And I don't see my dad on a Thursday. At the weekend, I thought I was going to be able to do this, have a couple of days or at least a whole day here at the flat to sit down and do a proper project plan. And I was seeing a decorator to get a quote. And then, yeah, the time just kind of got hijacked. <laughs> So I thought, now I am free. I'm a free woman. I can make decisions and 
follow them through and I really do need this headspace to uh, really consolidate exactly what I want to do in the flat. The decorator is not free till the end of November and I'm beginning to think I'm, I don't think any other decorators are going to be free then anyway but I think I can do quite a lot of it myself and also before any kind of final decoration is done now is the time to move electrics around if we want sockets in different places and also this window here what I really like to do I hope this is recording yes it is <laughs> um, is to have a window that goes lower the next door house has a lower window and that will just be you know good in terms of letting in more light if the dining table's in front of it you know you'll be able to look out onto the gardens and um, I think because this is a really big space there are like seven unit spaces you know 600 mil unit spaces um, so I think we can probably move the sink over to here and the hob can go along a bit and then have all of this space as a dining area and you know a lower window and you know have a nice light airy area <laughs> airy area yeah anyway I'm blabbing on again and um, today has just been a replenishment day see my friend going out with my dad and um, I just did pottering around at home finished off putting together that flat pack thing and yeah no kind of major achievements I had to make and now I feel my head space is free to be creative and strategic good morning everyone I was hoping to get a little shot of the squirrel as well but it's run off <laughs> looking out of the kitchen window at the flat in London and the rose is still blooming. It's a very nice view out here apart from the shed. I really want to make that a bit more glamorous. I have been through what I read in a book the other day you could term my self-nurturing rituals. <laughs> I'm reading this really good book but it's not, I'm not really reading it, it's one of those um, kind of daily reading things not a religious one at all and it's called Simple Abundance and the other day it was talking about uh, self-nurturing rituals and journaling which is all things I do and at the moment my morning kind of ritual is to get up and have breakfast I'm not one of those kind of people that can skip breakfast I only have a piece of toast but that's what I have to do so I have my coffee and toast and then since I started coaching my coach encouraged me to start a, like a gratefulness diary. So I just jot down bullet points of things that have brought me joy, made me feel happy, made me feel grateful. And then I usually write in my journal and just write everything that I'm feeling. So if I'm feeling kind of negative things, it kind of sorts those out and helps me get things in perspective and then I've been doing like a daily reading from here and it's really interesting because I have been collecting lots of things on Pinterest and today I've set aside the day to get a master plan together for the refurbishment of this flat and today's entry in the uh, a, a day book that's what it's called uh, in simple abundance is about creating a what did you call it an illustrated journal and basically just collecting pictures of things that you like and then it helps you realize what things you do love rather than you know things that are in fashion and feeling like you ought to so again it comes down to this kind of ought should 
and you can actually see for yourself what you like and that's what I've been finding with this um, with creating Pinterest boards for each room in this flat and for a little while um, there were going to be some people some friends of ours from Brazil uh, renting it in January and I did say at the time would you not rather be in this town where you used to live because they'd had an offer of a place there because um, they would know more people there so yeah the, the, the my friend um, his, his wife who's my friend he's my friend <laughs> um, and their daughter were you know thinking yeah we ought to really be somewhere where we know people so that's fine with me because I still have got plans to Airbnb this but the thing that it did make me realize was now I'm you know back on track being free to decorate it and furnish it exactly how I want to and uh, because because uh, my friend's got a completely different taste from me I'm all shabby chic and old stuff and she's very kind of clean lines and modern and I was kind of feeling like oh, I don't want to impose my shabby chicness <laughs> on her when she's like moving countries again and that kind of thing but anyway now I'm going to be able to get back to doing things exactly the way I love them. The next thing that I do in my morning ritual is my do it list and I'll set up a plan for the day and then the next thing I do is get dressed and put my makeup on. Sometimes I do it the other way around. <laughs> So, I've got my face on now. <laughs> well, I've been making lots of lists and phone calls and also had a little go at uh, going through things in the loft and uh, seeing what's there, what doesn't need to be there and I'm going to take some stuff to the tip and also found another keyboard stand that really I need <laughs> at home. But now I'm getting cabin fever a bit and I need to go and get some stuff for lunch as well. So I'm going to go for a little stroll down to the co-op. So here's some of the contents of the loft that is just more cardboard. I seem to have taken more cardboard to the tip than anything in the last couple of weeks. Right, so that's my pile of stuff to take to the tip. I'm going to go out to the shed now and see what decorating gear there is in the shed. There's loads, so I think I've actually got all the equipment I need to start stripping. I've decided I'm going to start stripping the top back bedroom and then um, we can make that all lovely um, as a finished off bedroom and then as we come down through the house, the bedroom that we usually stay in, will be able to be stripped and decorated and everything. So it'd be good just to get some action going and get started. Well, I think I got everything I needed at b and I got some scrapers and I got some um, stuff that you can soak if it's not coming off very well, if the wallpaper's not coming off very well. And I even bought a steam cleaner stripper um, I've hired one before and I just thought well if I've got to do it myself you know it's worth it, it was only 25 pounds it's worth it um, because I'd be paying somebody you know that more much more <laughs> to do it and people are all booked up so might as well make the job quick and I forgot to mention with all the research I was doing this morning on different types of kitchens and that sort of thing I, I was able to look in B&Q first hand at different doors the ones that I liked and handles and worktops and that sort of thing so I've taken all photographs on my phone of all of those and then I can work out the costings well I decided to crack on with stripping the wood chip paper in this back bedroom and <laughs> I've done half the ceiling so far. It's almost like the whoever put this wood chip paper up stuck it on with like a glue gun. And there's like four little dots everywhere. <laughs> so I 
think I might need to get a plasterer in to skim over it all. But yeah, it'll look really smart when it's done. So I think I'm going to do things room by room. And I'm going to get uh, this room all nicely decorated. I will probably actually carry on stripping the wood chip paper from the hallways and things like that. But yeah, this will be uh, a nice room to stay in while the other rooms are being done. <laughs> Look at this mess all over the floor. And this is the steamer. So I didn't want the water level to get too low. So I decided to stop at half the room, have a tea break and then crack on. Right, I'm going to bed now. I've taken my contact lenses out. I had some cheese and biscuits for tea. <laughs> I did buy a chilli con carne earlier, but I had a couple of packets of nuts. I was snacking on those and I just thought, well, I can't face a whole chilli con carne, so I just had some biscuits and cheese. So I'm now like stumbling my way through all this debris, <laughs> wallpaper, carpets that I was thinking about doing something with but I think I'm just going to take them to the tip and I also managed to strip all of this ceiling and I've started on the walls but I needed to fill up the steamer thing so I took a break I've just got to squeeze past all this and there's all that debris in there and I'm going to stay the night in this cute little room here. I just think the rooms in this flat are just like so great. It's just such a good space. I'm just really looking forward to doing it all up. I am going to get a good night's sleep now. I'm not going to get woken up by Louis at two in the morning finishing off his vlog. <laughs> I think Darcy's gone back to Cobham and apparently when Ben arrived home she was cooking tea so I think it's good for them that I stay away for a couple of days and let them get all the things themselves. <sighs> it's great for me, great for my headspace and good bonding time for all of them getting on with it. I'll see you in the morning. It is Friday morning and I had a reasonably good night's sleep. I always wake at about half past two <laughs> and then stay awake for, I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe dozing. But um, I did uh, get a reasonable amount of sleep, so that's good. And I've been through my do it list. The really cool thing about doing a do it list, because today I've got a number of different things to do, take my dad shopping, I'm meeting a friend for coffee, I'm getting good at that, I'm making sure I see my friends. And I initiated it, which I think she'll be pleased about. And I need to, on the way home, pop to Ikea, and uh, I needed to tidy up a bit around here. But the really good thing for me about a do-it list, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, um, is that it limits the amount of time that I do something, because I know I've got to fit other things into the day. I think I've shown you this before. I've got the spreadsheet set up, so I put in uh, the difference between 6am and when I actually got up, <laughs> which was 8.30. And then I just uh, had breakfast without doing anything in particular for 15 minutes, and then I thought, right, I'm gonna do my do-it list. Later on in the day, I've got quite a bit of time left. I've got to go for a meeting, and I need to spend time preparing for that, but I've got like loads of time. So I'm thinking maybe I should just head off to Ikea and not get to my dad's too late. Well, that was successful. Got two draw units that are going to fit exactly under Darcy's desk and now I need to head off to pick up my dad. So we just spotted a heron randomly on top of a house. You think it's looking for somewhere to build a nest? Yeah. <gasps> 
I have had to park miles away from the house. So it's Friday night now. I've been to all my meetings and coffee with everybody and everything. I did spend quite a lot of time editing this week's video earlier, but it's so long. I've remembered to get my camera out too many times. So I'm not sure I'm gonna get it finished off tonight. So it might be a Saturday diary instead. And I'll see you next week or in the next video that I do.